Section one of Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Matt Perard. Section one The Windy City. One The lean hands of wagon men put out pointing fingers here pick this crossway put it on a map set up their sawbucks fix their shotguns found a hitching place for the pony express made a hitching place for the iron horse the one-eyed horse with the fire spit head found a home-like spot and said make a home saw this corner with a mesh of rails shuffling people shunting cars shaping the junk of the earth to a new city the hands of men took hold and tugged and the breaths of men went into the junk and the junk stood up into skyscrapers and asked who am i am i a city and if i am what is my name and once while the time whistles blew and blew again the men answered long ago we gave you a name long ago we laughed and said you your name is chicago early the red men gave a name to a river the place of the skunk the river of the wild onion smell she caught go out of the payday songs of steam shovels out of the wages of structural iron rivets the living lighted skyscrapers tell it now as a name tell it across miles of sea blue water gray blue land i am chicago i am a name given out by the breaths of working men laughing men a child a belonging so between the great lakes the grand detour and the grand prairie the living lighted skyscrapers stand spotting the blue dusk with checkers of yellow streamers of smoke and silver parallelograms of night-gray watchmen singing a soft moaning song i am a child a belonging two how should the wind songs of a windy city go singing in a high wind the dirty chatter gets blown away on the wind the clean shovel the clean pickaxe lasts it is easy for a child to get breakfast and pack off to school with a pair of roller skates buns for lunch and a geography riding through a tunnel under a river running backward to school to listen how the potawatomies and the blackhawks ran on moccasins between kaskaskia peoria kankakee and chicago three lash yourself to the bastion of a bridge and listen while the black cataracts of people go by baggage bundles balloons listen while they jazz the classics since when did you kiss yourself in and who do you think you are come across kick in loosen up where do you get that chatter beat up the short change artists they never did nothing for you how did you get that way tell me and i'll tell the world i'll say so i'll say it is you're trying to grab my act you poor fish you mackerel you ain't got the sense god gave an oyster it's raining what you want is an umbrella hush baby i don't know a thing i don't know a thing hush baby hush baby it ain't how old you are it is easy to sit listening to a boy babbling of the potawatomi moccasins in illinois how now the roofs and smokestacks cover miles where the deerfoot left its riding and the fox pot put its initials in the snow for the early moccasins to read it is easy for the respectable taxpayers to sit in the street cars and read the papers faces of burglars the prison escapes the hunger strikes the cost of living the price of dying the shop gate battles of strikers and strike breakers the strikers killing scabs and the police killing strikers the strongest the strongest always the strongest it is easy to listen to the haberdasher customers hand each other their easy chatter it is easy to die alive to register a living thumbprint and be dead from the neck up and there are sidewalks polished with the footfalls of undertakers stiffs greased mannequins wearing up to the minute socks lifting heels across door sills shoving their faces ahead of them 
dead from the neck up proud of their socks their socks are the last word dead from the neck up it is easy it's how old you look it ain't what you got it's what you can get away with bring home the bacon put it over shoot it across send em to the cleaners what we want is results results and damn the consequences shh shh you can fix anything if you got the right fixers kid each other you cheap skates tell each other you're all to the mustard you're the gravy tell em honey ain't it the truth sweetheart watch your step you said it you said a mouthful we're all a lot of damn fourflushers hush baby shoot it shoot it all cuckoo cuckoo this is one song of chicago four it is easy to come here a stranger and show the whole works write a book fix it all up it is easy to come and go away a muddle-headed pig a bum and a bag of wind go to it and remember this city fished from its depths a text independent as a hog on ice venice is a dream of soft waters vienna and baghdad recollections of dark spears and wild turbans paris is a thought in monet gray on scabbards fabrics facades london is a fact in a fog filled with the moaning of transatlantic whistles berlin sits amid white scrubbed quadrangles and torn arithmetics and testaments moscow brandishes a flag and repeats a dance figure of a man who walks like a bear chicago fish from its depths a text independent as a hog on ice five forgive us if the monotonous houses go mile on mile along monotonous streets out to the prairies if the faces of the houses mumble hard words at the streets and the street voices only say dusk and a bitter wind shall come forgive us if the lumber porches and doorsteps snarl at each other and the brick chimneys cough in a close-up of each other's faces and the ramshackle stairways watch each other as thieves watch and dooryard lilacs near a malleable ironworks long ago languished in a short whispering purple and if the alley ash cans tell the garbage wagon drivers the children play the alley is heaven and the streets of heaven shine with the grand dazzle of stones of gold and there are no policemen in heaven let the rag tags have it their way and if the geraniums in the tin cans of the window sills ask questions not worth answering and if a boy and girl hunt the sun with a sieve for sifting smoke let it pass let the answer be dust and a bitter wind shall come forgive us if the jazz timebeats of these clumsy mass shadows moan in saxophone undertones and the footsteps of the jungle the fang cry the rip claw hiss the sneak up and the still watch the slant of the slit eyes waiting if these bother respectable people with a right crimp in their napkins reading breakfast menu cards forgive us let it pass let be if cripples sit on their stumps and joke with the newsies bawling many lives lost many lives lost terrible accident many lives lost if again twelve men let a woman go he done me wrong i shot him or the blood of a child's head spatters on the hub of a motor truck or a four to four gat cracks and lets the skylights into one more bank messenger or if boys steal coal in a railroad yard and run with humped gunny sacks while a bull picks off one of the kids and a kid wriggles with an ear in cinders and a mother comes to carry home a bundle a limp bundle to have his face washed for the last time forgive us if it happens and happens again and happens again forgive the jazz time beat of clumsy mass shadows footsteps of the jungle the fang cry the rip claw hiss the slant of the slit eyes waiting forgive us if we work so hard and the muscles bunch clumsy on us and we never know why we work so hard if the big houses with little families and the little houses with big families sneer at each other's bars of misunderstanding pity us when we shackle and kill each other 
and believe at first we understand and later say we wonder why take home the monotonous patter of the elevated railroad guard in the rush hours watch your step watch your step watch your step or write on a pocket pad what a pauper said to a patch of purple asters at a whitewashed wall let every man be his own jesus that's enough six the wheelbarrows grin the shovels and the mortar hoist an exploit the stone shanks of the monadnock the transportation the people's gas building stand up and scrape at the sky the wheelbarrows sing the bevels and the blueprints whisper the library building named after trirar naked as a stock farm silo light as a single eagle feather stripped like an airplane propeller takes a path up two cool new rivets say maybe it is morning god knows put the city up tear the city down put it up again let us find a city let us remember the little violet-eyed man who gave all praying dig and dream dream and hammer till your city comes every day the people sleep and the city dies every day the people shake loose awake and build the city again the city is a tool chest opened every day a time clock punched every morning a shop door bunkers and overalls counting every day the city is a balloon and a bubble plaything shot to the sky every evening whistled in a ragtime jig down the sunset the city is made forgotten and made again trucks hauling it away haul it back steered by drivers whistling ragtime against the sunsets every day the people get up and carry the city carry the bunkers and balloons of the city lift it and put it down i will die as many times as you make me over again says the city to the people i am the woman the home the family i get breakfast and pay the rent i telephone the doctor the milkman the undertaker i fix the streets for your first and your last ride come clean with me come clean or dirty i am stone and steel of your sleeping numbers i remember all you forgot i will die as many times as you make me over again under the foundations over the roofs the bevels and the blueprints talk it over the wind of the lake shore waits and wanders the heave of the shore wind hunches the sand piles the winkers of the morning stars count out cities and forget the numbers seven at the white clock tower lighted in night purples over the boulevard link bridge only the blind get by without acknowledgments the passers-by factory punch clock numbers hotel girls out for the air tameos coal passers taxi drivers window washers paper hangers floor walkers bill collectors burglar alarm salesmen massage students manicure girls chiropodists bath rubbers booze runners hat cleaners armhole basters delicatessen clerks shovel stiffs work plugs they all pass over the bridge they all look up at the white clock tower lighted in night purples over the boulevard link bridge and sometimes one says well we hand it to him mention proud things catalogue them the jackknife bridge opening the oar boats the wheat barges passing through three overland trains arriving the same hour one from memphis and the cotton belt one from omaha and the corn belt one from duluth the lumberjack and the iron range mention a carload of shorthorns taken off the valleys of wyoming last week arriving yesterday knocked in the head stripped quartered hung in ice boxes today mention the daily melodrama of this humdrum rhythms of heads hides heels hoofs hung up eight it is wisdom to think the people are the city it is wisdom to think the city would fall to pieces and die and be dust in the wind if the people of the city all move away and leave no people at all to watch and keep the city it is wisdom to think no city stood here at all until the working men the laughing men came it is wisdom to think tomorrow new working men new laughing men may come and put up a new city 
living lighted skyscrapers and a night lingo of lanterns testify to-morrow shall have its own say-so nine night gathers itself into a ball of dark yarn night loosens the ball and it spreads the lookouts from the shores of lake michigan find night follows day and ping ping across sheet gray the boat lights put their signals night lets the dark yarn unravel night speaks and the yarns change to fog and blue strands the lookouts turn to the city the canyons swarm with red sand lights of the sunset the atoms drop and sift blues cross over yellows plunge mixed light shafts stack their bayonets pledge with crossed handles so when the canyons swarm it is then the lookouts speak of the high spots over a street mountain language of skyscrapers in dusk the railway exchange the people's gas the monad knock the transportation gone to the gloaming the river turns in a half circle the goose island bridges curve over the river curve then the river panorama performs for the bridge dots lights dots lights sixes and sevens of dots and lights a lingo of lanterns and searchlights circling sprays of gray and yellow ten a man came as a witness saying i listened to the great lakes and i listened to the grand prairie and they had little to say to each other a whisper or so in a thousand years some of the cities are big said one and some not so big said another and sometimes the cities are all gone said a black knob bluff to a light green sea winds of the windy city come out of the prairie all the way from medicine hat come out of the inland sea blue water come where the nickname a city for you corn wind in the fall come off the black lands come off the whisper of the silk hangers the lap of the flat spear leaves blue water wind in summer come off the blue miles of lake carry your inland sea blue fingers carry us cool carry your blue to our homes white spring winds come off the bag wool clouds come off the running melted snow come white as the arms of snow-born children grave fighting winter winds come along on the tearing blizzard tails the snouts of the hungry hunting storms come fighting gray in winter winds of the windy city winds of corn and sea blue spring wind white and fighting winter gray come home here they nickname a city for you the wind of the lake shore waits and wanders the heave of the shore wind hunches the sand piles the winkers of the morning stars count out cities and forget the numbers end of section one Washington Monument by Night From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis 1. The stone goes straight. A lean swimmer dives into night sky, into half-moon mist. 2. Two trees are coal black. This is a great white ghost between. It is cool to look at. Strong men, strong women, come here. Three. Eight years is a long time to be fighting all the time. Four. The Republic is a dream. Nothing happens unless first a dream. Five. The wind bit hard at Valley Forge one Christmas. Soldiers tied rags on their feet. Red footprints wrote on the snow, and stone shoots into stars here, into half-moon mist tonight. 6. Tongues wrangled dark at a man. He buttoned his overcoat and stood alone. In a snowstorm, red holly berries, thoughts, he stood alone. 7. Women said, he is lonely, fighting, fighting eight years eight 
the name of an iron man goes over the world it takes a long time to forget an iron man nine End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. And So Today From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandberg. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. And So Today And So Today They Lay Him Away The Boy Nobody Knows the Name of the buck private, the unknown soldier, the doughboy who dug under and died when they told him to, that's him. Down Pennsylvania Avenue today the riders go, men and boys riding horses, roses in their teeth, stems of roses, rose leaf stalks, rose dark leaves. The line of the green ends in a red rose flash. Skeleton men and boys riding skeleton horses. The rib bones shine, the rib bones curve, shine with savage, elegant curves. A jawbone runs with a long white slant. A skull dome runs with a long white arch. Bone triangles click and rattle, elbows, ankles, white line slants, shining in the sun, past the White House past the Treasury Building, Army and Navy Buildings, on to the mystic white Capitol Dome. So they go down Pennsylvania Avenue today, skeleton men and boys riding skeleton horses, stems of roses in their teeth, rose-dark leaves at the white jaw slants. And a hoarse laugh question nickers and whinnies, Moans with a whistle out of horse-head teeth. Why? Who? Where? The big fish eat the little fish. The little fish eat the shrimps. And the shrimps eat mud. Said a cadaverous man with a black umbrella, Spotted with white polka dots, With a missing ear, with a missing foot and arms, With a missing sheath of muscles, Singing to the silver sashes of the sun. And so today they lay him away, The boy nobody knows the name of, The buck private, the unknown soldier, The doughboy who dug under and died When they told him to, that's him. If he picked himself and said, I am ready to die, If he gave his name and said, My country, take me, then the baskets of roses today are for the boy. The flowers, the songs, the steamboat whistles, the proclamations of the honorable orators, they are all for the boy. That's him. If the government of the Republic picked him, saying, You are wanted, your country takes you. If the Republic put a stethoscope to his heart and looked at his teeth and tested his eyes and said, you are a citizen of the Republic and a sound animal in all parts and functions. The Republic takes you. Then today, the baskets of flowers are all for the Republic. The roses, the songs, the steamboat whistles, the proclamations of the honorable orators, they are all for the Republic. And so today they lay him away, and an understanding goes his long sleep shall be under arms and arches near the Capitol Dome. There is an authorization. He shall have tomb companions, the martyred presidents of the Republic, the buck private, the unknown soldier. That's him. The man who is war commander of the armies of the Republic rides down Pennsylvania Avenue. The man who is peace commander of the armies of the Republic rides down Pennsylvania Avenue for the sake of the boy, for the sake of the Republic. And the hoofs of the skeleton horses all drum soft on the asphalt footing, so soft is the drumming, so soft the roll call of the grinning sergeants calling the roll call, 
So soft is it all. A cameraman murmurs, Moonshine. Look, who salutes the coffin, lays a wreath of remembrance on the box where a buck private sleeps a clean, dry sleep at last? Look, it is the highest ranking general of the officers of the armies of the Republic. Among pigeon corners of the Congressional Library, they filed documents quietly, casually, all in a day's work. This human document, the buck private nobody knows the name of, they file away in granite and steel, with music and roses, salutes, proclamations of the honorable orators. Across the country, between two ocean shorelines, where cities cling to rail and water routes, there people and horses stop in their foot tracks, cars and wagons stop in their wheel tracks. Faces at street crossings shine with the silence of eggs laid in a row on a pantry shelf. Among the ways and paths of the flow of the Republic, faces come to a standstill. Sixty clock ticks count in the name of the boy, in the name of the Republic. A million faces a thousand miles from Pennsylvania Avenue stay frozen with a look, a clock tick, a moment. Skeleton riders and skeleton horses, the nickering high horse laugh, the whinny and the howl of Pennsylvania Avenue, who, why, where. So people far from the asphalt footing of Pennsylvania Avenue look, wonder, mumble. The riding white jaw phantoms ride, hi 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 The proclamations of the honorable orators mix with the top sergeants whistling the roll call. If when the clock ticks counted sixty, when the heartbeats of the Republic came to a stop for a minute, if the boy had happened to sit up, happening to sit up as Lazarus sat up in the story, then the first shivering language to drip off his mouth might have come as, Thank God, or Am I dreaming, or What the hell, or When do we eat, or Kill him, kill him the, or Was that a rat? ran over my face? Or, for Christ's sake, give me water, give me water. Or, blub, blub, blue, blue. Or any bubbles of shell-shocked gibberish from the gashes of no man's land. Maybe somebody knows, some sister, mother, sweetheart. Maybe some girl who sat with him once when a two-horned silver moon slid on the peak of a house-roof gable, and promises lived in the air of the night, when the air was filled with promises, when any little slip-shoe lovey could pick a promise out of the air. Feed it to him. They lap it up. Bull, 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 said a movie newsreel cameraman, said a Washington newspaper correspondent said a baggage handler lugging a trunk, said a two-a-day vaudeville juggler, said a hanky-pank selling jumping jacks. Hokum, they lap it up, said the bunch. And a tall scar-faced ball player, played out as a ball player, made a speech of his own for the hero boy, sent an earful of his own to the dead buck private. It's all safe now, buddy. Safe when you say yes. Safe for the yes-men. He was a tall, scar-faced battler, with his face in a newspaper, reading wanads, reading jokes, reading love, murder, politics, jumping from jokes back to the wanads, reading the wanads first and last. The letters of the word job, J-O-B, burnt like a shot of bootleg booze in the bones of his head, in the wish of his scar-face eyes. The honorable orators, always 
the honorable orators, buttoning the buttons on the Prince Alberts, pronouncing the syllables sacrifice, juggling those bitter salt-soaked syllables. Do they ever gag with hot ashes in their mouths? Do their tongues ever shrivel with a pain of fire across those simple syllables? Sacrifice. There was one order people far off saw. He had on a gunny sack shirt over his bones, and he lifted an elbow socket over his head, and he lifted a skinny signal finger, and he had nothing to say, nothing easy. He mentioned ten million men, mentioned them as having gone west, mentioned them as shoving up the daisies. He could write it all on a postage stamp, what he said. He said it and quit and faded away, a gunny sack shirt on his bones. Stars of the night sky, did you see that phantom fade out? Did you see those phantom riders, skeleton riders and skeleton horses, stems of roses in their teeth, rose leaves red on white jaw slants, grinning along on Pennsylvania Avenue? The top sergeants calling roll calls. Did their horses nicker a horse laugh? Did the ghosts of the bony battalions move out and on, up the Potomac, over on the Ohio, and out to the Mississippi, the Missouri, the Red River, and down to the Rio Grande, and on to the Yazoo, over to the Chattahoochee, and up to the Rappahannock? Did you see them? stars of the night sky and so today they lay him away the boy nobody knows the name of they lay him away in granite and steel with music and roses under a flag under a sky of promises and a poem this recording is in the public domain Black Horizons from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Black Horizons. Black Horizons come up. Black Horizons kiss me. That is all. So many lies. Killing so cheap. Babies so cheap. Blood. People so cheap, and land high, land dear, a speck of the earth cost, a suck at the tit of mother dirt, so clean and strong, it cost, fences, papers, sheriffs, fences, laws, guns, and so many stars, and so few hours to dream, such a big song, and so little a footing to stand and sing, take a look, wars to come, red rivers to cross black horizons come up black horizons kiss me and a poem this recording is in the public domain sea slant from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for librivox.org by nemo Sea Slant On up the sea slant, on up the horizon, the ship limps. The bone of her nose fog gray, the heart of her sea strong. She came a long way, she goes a long way. On up the horizon, on up the sea slant, she limps sea strong, fog gray. She is a green lit night gray. She comes and goes in sea fog. Up the horizon slant she limps. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Upstream from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandberg. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Upstream. The strong men keep coming on. They go down shot, hanged, sick, 
broken. They live on fighting, singing, lucky as plungers. The strong mother is pulling them on. The strong mother is pulling them from a dark sea, a great prairie, a long mountain. Call hallelujah, call amen, call deep thanks. The strong men keep coming on. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Four Steichen Prints From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis The earth, the rock, and the oil of the earth, the slippery, frozen places of the earth, these are for homes of rainbow bubbles, curves of the circles of a bubble, curves of the arcs of the rainbow prisms. Between sun and rock they lift to the sun their foam feather, and go. Throw your neck back, throw it back, till the neck muscles shine at the sun, till the falling hair at the scalp is a black cry, till limbs and knee bones form an altar, and the girl's torso over the fire rock torso shouts, Hi ye, hi ye, hallelujah. Goat girl caught in the brambles, deerfoot or foxhead, Ankles and hair of feeders of the wind. Let all the covering burn. Let all stopping a naked plunger from plunging naked. Let it all burn in this wind fire. Let the fire have it in a fast crunch and a flash. They threw you into a pot of thorns with a wreath in your hair and bunches of grapes over your head, your hard little buttocks in the thorns. Then the black eyes the white teeth, the nameless, muscular flare of you, rippled and twisted in sliding, rising scales of laughter. The earth never had a gladder friend. Pigs, goats, deer, tawny, tough-haired jaguars might understand you. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Fins from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg, read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. Plow over bars of sea plowing, the moon by moon work of the sea, the plowing, sand and rock, must be done. Ride over, ride over bars of sea riding, the sun and the blue riding of the sea, sit in the saddles and say it, sea riders. Slant up and go, silver breakers, mix the high howls of your dancing, shoot your laugh of rainbow foam tops. Foam wings fly, pick the comers, the fin pink, the belly green, the blue rain sparks, the white wave spit, fly, you foam wings. The men of the sea are gone to work, the women of the sea are off buying new hats, combs, clocks. It is rust and gold on the roofs of the sea. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Beat Old Heart from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandberg. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Beat Old Heart. Beat, old heart, these are the old bars all strugglers have beat against. Beat on these bars like the old sea, beats on the rocks and beaches. Beat here like the old winter winds, beat on the prairies and timbers. Old grizzlies, eagles, buffalo, their paws and beaks register this, their hides and heads say it with scars. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Moon Riders from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandberg. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Moon Riders. One. What have I saved out of a morning? The earliest of the morning came with moon mist and the travel of a moon-split purple. 
bars, horseshoes, Texas longhorns, linked in night silver, linked under leaves in moonlit silver, linked in rags and patches out of the ice houses of the morning moon. Yes, this was the earliest, before the cow punchers on the eastern rims began riding into the sun, riding the roan mustangs of morning, roping the mavericks after the latest stars. What have I saved out of a morning? Was there a child face I saw once, smiling up a stairway of the morning moon? 2. It is time for work, said a man in the morning. He opened the faces of the clocks, saw their works, saw the wheels oiled and fitted, running smooth. It is time to begin a day's work, he said again, watching a bullfinch hop on the rain-worn boards of a beaten fence, counting its bitter winters. The slinging feet to the bullfinch and the flash of its flying feathers as it flipped away, took his eyes away from the clocks, his flying eyes. He walked over, stood in front of the clocks again, and said, I'm sorry, I apologize forty ways. 3. The morning paper lay bundled like a spear in a museum, across the broken sleeping room of a moonsheet spider. The spinning work of the morning spider's feet left off where the morning paper's pages lay in the shine of the web and the summer dew grass. The man opened the morning paper, saw the first page, the back page, the inside pages, the editorials, saw the world go by, eating, stealing, fighting, saw the headlines, datelines, funnies, ads, the marching movies of the workmen going to work, the workmen striking, the workmen asking jobs, five million pairs of eyes look for a boss and say, take me, people eating with too much to eat, people eating with nothing in sight to eat tomorrow, eating as though eating belongs where people belong. Hustle, you hustlers, while the hustling's good, said the man, turning the morning paper's pages, turning among headlines, datelines, funnies, ads. Hustlers carrying the banner, said the man, dropping the paper and beginning to hunt the city, hunting the alleys, boulevards, backdoor byways, hunting till he found a blind horse dying alone, telling the horse, Two legs or four legs, it's all the same with a work plug. A hayfield mist of evening saw him, watching moon riders lose the moon for new shooting stars. He asked, Christ, what have I saved out of a morning? He called up a stairway of the morning moon, and he remembered a child face smiling up that same stairway. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. At the Gates of Tombs From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis Civilizations are set up and knocked down, the same as pins in a bowling alley. Civilizations get into the garbage wagons and are hauled away the same as potato peelings or any pot scrapings. Civilizations, all the work of the artists, inventors, dreamers of work and genius, go to the dumps one by one. Be silent about it, since at the gates of tombs silence is a gift, be silent. Since at the epitaphs written in the air, since at the swan songs hung in the air, silence is a gift, be silent. Forget it. If any fool, babbler, gabby mouth stand up and say, Let us make a civilization where the sacred and beautiful things of toil and genius shall last. If any such noisy gazook stands up and makes himself heard, put him out, tie a can on him, lock him up in Leavenworth, shackle him in the Atlanta Hoosgow, let him eat from the tin dishes at Sing Sing. Slew him in as a lifer at San Quentin. It is the law, 
as a civilization dies and goes down to eat ashes along with all other dead civilizations it is the law all dirty wild dreamers die first gag em lock em up get em bumped off and since at the gates of tombs silence is a gift be silent about it yes be silent forget it end of poem this recording is in the public domain hazardous occupations from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Hazardous Occupations Jugglers keep six bottles in the air. Club swingers toss up six and eight. The knife throwers miss each other's ears by a hair, and the steel quivers in the target wood. The trapeze battlers do a back and forth high in the air with the girl's feet and ankles upside down. So they earn a living, till they miss once, twice, even three times. So they live on hate and love, as gypsies live in satin skins and shiny eyes. In their graves do the elbows jostle once in a blue moon, and wriggle to throw a kiss, answering a dreamed of applause. Do the bones repeat, it's a good act. We got a good hand. End a poem. This recording's in the public domain. Props from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg. Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. One. Roll open this rug. A minx is in it. See her toe wiggling. Roll open the rug. She is a runaway, or somebody is trying to steal her. Here she is. Here's your minx. How can we have a play unless we have this minx? 2. The child goes out in the storm. Stage thunder. Erring daughter, never darken this door sill again. The tender parents speak their curse. The child puts a few knickknacks in a handkerchief and the child goes. The door closes, and the child goes. She is out now, in the storm, on the stage, out forever. Snow, you son of a gun. Snow, turn on the snow. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Gypsy Mother from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg, read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. In a hole in a wall on Halsted Street sits a gypsy woman in a garish gaslit rendezvous in a humpback higgling hole in a wall. The left hand is a tattler. Stars and O's and alphabets commit themselves and tell happenings gone, happenings to come, pathways of honest people, hypocrites. Long pointed fingers mean imagination. A star on the third finger says a black shadow walks near. Cross the gypsy's hand with fifty cents, and she takes your left hand and reads how you shall be happy in love or not, and whether you die rich or not. Signs outside the hole in a wall say so, misspell the promises, scrawl the superior gypsy mysteries. A red shawl on her shoulders falls with a fringe hem to a green skirt. Chains of yellow beads sweep from her neck to her tawny hands. Fifty springtimes must have kissed her mouth holding a calabash pipe. She pulls slow contemplative puffs of smoke. She is a shape for ghosts of contemplation to sit around and ask why something cheap as happiness is here and more besides. Chapped lips, rough eyes, red shawl. She is thinking about somebody and something, the same as Whistler's mother sat and thought about somebody and something. In a hole in a wall on Halsted Street are stars, oaths, alphabets. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Gold Mud 
from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by eva davis for r f the pot of gold at the rainbow end is a pot of mud gold mud slippery shining mud pour it on your hair and you will have a golden hair pour it on your cat and you will have a golden cat pour it on your clock and you will have a golden clock pour it on a dead man's thumb and you will have a golden thumb to bring you bad dreams pour it on a dead woman's ear and you will have a golden ear to tell hard luck stories to pour it on a horse chestnut and you will have a golden buckeye changing your luck end of poem this recording is in the public domain crossing the paces from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by eva davis the sioux sat around their wigwam fires in winter with some papooses hung up and some laid down and the sioux had a saying love grows like hair on a black bear's skin the arabians spill this the first gray hair is a challenge of death a polish blacksmith a good blacksmith is not afraid of smoke and a scandinavian warns the world was born in fire and he who is fire himself will be at home anywhere on earth so a stranger told his children you are strangers and warned them bob your hair or let it grow long be a company a party a picnic be alone a nut a potato an orange blossom a keg of nails if you get lost try a want ad if night comes try a long sleep end of poem this recording is in the public domain couples from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by nemo couples six miasmic women in green dance an absinthe dance hissing oaths of laughter at six men they cheated six miasmic men did the same for six women they cheated it was a standoff and oaths of laughter hissed the dirt is hard where they danced the pads of their feet made a floor the weeds wear moon mist morning veils the weeds come high six little crosses one little cross for each couple and a poem this recording is in the public domain caligari from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by eva davis mannequins we command you stand up with your white beautiful skulls stand up with your moaning sockets dance your stiff limping dances we handle you with spick and span gloves we tell you when and how and how much end of poem this recording is in the public domain feather lights from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by eva davis macabre and golden the moon opened a slant of light a triangle for an oriole to stand and sing take me home a layer of thin white gold feathers for a child queen of gypsies so the moon opened a slant of light and let it go so the lonesome dogs the fog moon the pearl mist came back end of poem this recording is in the public domain pearl horizons from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by nemo pearl horizons under a prairie fog moon in a circle of pearl mist horizons 
A few lonesome dogs scraping thongs. Midnight is lonely. The fog moon, midnight, takes up again its even, smooth November. Memories. You can flick me and sting me. Memories. You can hold me even and smooth. A circle of pearl mist horizons is not a woman to be walked up to and kissed, nor a child to be taken and held for a good night, nor any old coffee-drinking pal to be smiled at in the eyes and left with a grip and a handshake. Pearl memories in the mist circling the horizon flick me, sting me, hold me even and smooth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Hoof Dusk from Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandberg. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Hoof Dusk. The dusk of this boxwood is leather gold, buckskin gold, and the hoofs of a dusk goat leave their heel marks on it. The cover of this wooden box is a last of the sunset red, a red with a sandman's sand fixed in evening siftings. Late evening sands are here. The gold of old clocks, forgotten in garrets, hidden out between battles of long wars and short wars. The smoldering ember gold of old clocks found again. Here is the small smoke fade out of those slow loitering. Feel me with your fingers. Measure me in fire and wind. Maybe I am buckskin gold, old clock gold, late evening sunset sand. Let go and loiter and the smoke fade out. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Harsk, Harsk. From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg, read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. One. Harsk, harsk, the wind blows tonight. What a night for a baby to come into the world. What a night for a melodrama baby to come. And the father wondering, and the mother wondering, what the years will bring on their stork feet till a year when this very baby might be saying, on some storm night when a melodrama baby is born, what a night for a baby to come into the world. Harsk, harsk, the wind blows tonight. Two. It is five months off, knit, stitch, and hemstitch. Sheets, bags, towels, these are the offerings. When he is older, or she is a big girl. There may be flowers or ribbons or money for birthday offerings. Now, however, we must remember it is a naked stranger coming to us, and the sheath of the arrival is so soft we must be ready and soft too. Knit, stitch, hem stitch. It is only five months. Three. It would be easy to pick a lucky star for this baby. If a choice of two stars lay before our eyes, one a pearl gold star and one pearl silver, and the offer of a chance to pick a lucky star. 4. When the high hour comes, let there be a light flurry of snow, a little zigzag of white spots against the gray roofs. The snowborn all understand this as a luck wish. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Section 23 of Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Matt Perard. Brancusi. Brancusi is a galoot. He saves tickets to take him nowhere. A galoot with his baggage ready and no timetable. Ah, yes, Brancusi is a galoot. 
he understands birds and skulls so well he knows the hang of the hair of the coils and plates on a woman's head he knows them so far back he knows where they came from and where they are going he is fathoming down for the secrets of the first and the oldest makers of shapes let us speak of loose mouths today not at all about brancusi because he has hardly started nor is hardly able to say the name of the place he wants to go when he has time and is ready to start oh brancusi keeping hardwood planks around your doorsteps in the sun waiting for the hardwood to be harder for your hard hands to handle you brancusi with your chisels and hammers birds going to cones skulls going to eggs how the hope hugs your heart you will find one cone one egg so hard when the earth turns mist there among the last to go will be a cone an egg brancusi you will not put a want ad in the papers telling god it will be to his advantage to come around and see you you will not grow gabby and spill god earfuls of prayers you will not get fresh and familiar as if god is a next-door neighbor and you have counted his shirts on a clothesline you will go stammering stuttering and mumbling or you will be silent as a mouse in a church garret when the pipe organ is pouring ocean waves on the sunlit rocks of ocean shores if god is saving a corner for any battling bag of bones there will be one for you there will be one for you brancusi end of section twenty three ambassadors of grief from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for librivox dot org by eva davis there was a little fliv of a woman loved one man and lost out and she took up with another and it was a blank again and she cried to god the whole layout was a fake and a frame-up and when she took up with number three she found the fires burnt out the love power gone and she wrote a letter to god and dropped it in the mailbox the letter said oh god ain't there some way you can fix it up so the little flivs of women ready to throw themselves in front of railroad trains for men they love can have a chance i guessed the wrong keys i battered on the wrong panels i picked the wrong roads oh god ain't there no way to guess again and start all over back where i had the keys in my hands back where the roads all came together and i had my pick and the letter went to washington d c dumped in a dump where all letters go addressed to god and no house number end of poem this recording is in the public domain without the cane and the derby from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for librivox dot org by eva davis for c c the woman had done him wrong either that or the woman was clean as a white rose in the morning gauze of dew. It was either one or the other, or it was the two things, right and wrong, woven together like two braids of a woman's head of hair, hanging down woven together. The room is dark. The door opens. It is Charlie playing for his friends after dinner. The marvelous urchin, the little genius of the screen, chatter it like a monkey's running laughter cry. No. It is not Charlie. It is somebody else. It is a man. Gray shirt, bandana, dark face. A candle in his left hand throws a slant of light on the dark face. The door closes slow. The right hand leaves the doorknob slow. He looks at something. What is it? A white sheet on a table. He takes two long, soft steps. He runs the candlelight around a hump in the sheet. He lifts the sheet slow, sad-like. A woman's head of hair shows. He takes the head between his hands and looks long at it. His fingers trickle under the sheet, snap loose something, bring out fingers full of a pearl necklace. He covers the face and the head of hair with the white sheet. He takes a step toward the door. The necklace slips into his pocket, off the fingers of his right hand. His left hand lifts the candle for a good-bye look. Knock, knock, knock. 
a knocking the same as the time of the human heartbeat knock 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 first louder then lower knock 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 the same as the time of the human heartbeat he sets the candle on the floor leaps to the white sheet rips it back has his fingers at the neck his thumbs at the throat and does three slow fierce motions of strangling the knocking stops all is quiet he covers the face and the head of hair with the white sheet steps back picks up the candle and listens knock 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 a knocking the same as the time of the human heartbeat knock 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 first louder then lower knock 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 the same as the time of the human heartbeat again the candle to the floor the leap the slow fierce motions of strangling the cover-up of the face and the head of hair the step back the listening and again the knock 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 louder lower to the time of the human heartbeat once more the motions of strangling, then nothing at all, nothing at all, no more knocking, no knocking at all, no knocking at all in the time of the human heartbeat. He stands at the door, peace, peace, peace everywhere, only in the man's face so dark and his eyes so lighted up with so many lights, no peace at all, no peace at all. So he stands at the door, his right hand on the doorknob, the candle slants of light fall and flicker from his face to the straight white sheet changing gray against shadows. So there is peace everywhere, no more knocking, no knocking at all to the time of the human heartbeat. So he stands at the door and his right hand on the doorknob, and there is peace everywhere. Only the man's face is a red-gray plaster of storm at the center of peace. So he stands with a candle at the door. So he stands with a red-gray face. The room is full of cream-yellow lights. Charlie is laughing, louder, lower. And again the heartbeats laugh. The human heartbeats laugh. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Rake Off and the Getaway From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis Shall we come back? the gamblers asked. If you want to, if you feel that way, the answer. And they must have wanted to, they must have felt that way, for they came back, hats pulled down over their eyes, as though the rain or the policeman or the shadows of a sneaking scar-faced nemesis followed their tracks and hunted them down what was the clean-up let's see the rake off somebody asked them looking into their eyes far under the pulled-down hat rims and their eyes had only the laugh of the rain in them lights of escape from a sneaking scar-faced nemesis hunting their tracks hunting them down Anvils, pincers, mosquitoes, anguish, raspberries, steaks and gravy, remorse, ragtime, slang, a woman's looking glass to be held in the hand for looking at the face and the face makeup. Black wing birds fitted onto slits of the sunsets they were flying into. Bitter green waters, clear running waters, standing pools ringing the changes of all the triangles of the equinoxes of the sky and a woman's slipper with a tarnished buckle, a tarnished Chinese silver buckle. The gamblers snatched their hats off, babbling, Some layout, take your pick, kid. And their eyes had yet in them the laugh of the rain and the lights of their getaway from a sneaking scar-face nemesis. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Two Humpties From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis They tried to hand it to us on a platter. Us hit in the eyes with marconograms from moon dancers, and the bubble busted, went fluey, on a thumb touch. 
so this time again humpty we cork our laughs behind solemn fizzogs sweep the floor with the rim of our hats and say good-bye and good-bye just like that tomorrow maybe they will be hit in the eyes with marconograms from moon dancers good-bye our hats and all of us say good-bye end of poem this recording is in the public domain improved farmland from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by nemo improved farmland tall timber stood here once here on a corn belt farm along the monon here the roots of a half mile of trees dug their runners deep in the loam for a grip and a hold against windstorms then the axemen came and the chips flew to the zing of steel and handle the lank rail splitters cut the big ones first the beeches and the oaks then the brush dynamite wagons and horses took the stumps the plows sunk their teeth in now it is first-class corn land improved property and the hogs grunt over the fodder crops it would come hard now for this half mile of improved farmland along the monon corn belt on a piece of grand prairie to remember once it had a great singing family of trees and a poem this recording is in the public domain hell on the wabash from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Hell on the Wabash When country fiddlers held a convention in Danville, the big money went to a barn dance artist who played Turkey in the Straw with variations. They asked him the name of the piece, calling it a humdinger, and he answered, I call it Hell on the Wabash. The two next best were the speckled hen and sweet potatoes grow in sandy land with variations and a poem this recording is in the public domain this for the moon yes from slabs of the sunburnt west by carl sandberg read for LibriVox.org by eva davis this is a good book yes throw it at the moon stand on the ball of your right foot and come to the lunge of a center fielder straddling in a throw for the home plate let her go spang this book for the moon yes and then other books good books even the best books shoot em with a long twist at the moon yes End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Primer Lesson From Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg. Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. Look out how you use proud words. When you let proud words go, it is not easy to call them back. They wear long boots, hard boots. They walk off proud. They can't hear you calling. Look out how you use proud words. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Slabs of the Sunburnt West From Slabs of the Sunburnt West By Carl Sandberg Read for LibriVox.org By Nemo Slabs of the Sunburnt West one into the night into the blanket of night into the night rain gods the night luck gods overland goes the overland passenger train stand up sandstone slabs of red tell the overland passengers who burnt you tell them how the jacks and screws loosened you tell them who shook you by the heels 
and stood you on your heads, who put the slow pink of sunset mist on your faces. Panels of the cold gray open night, gates of the great American desert, skies keeping the prayers of the wagon men, the riders with picks, shovels, and guns. On the old trail, the Santa Fe Trail, the Rattan Pass, panels, skies, gates. Listen tonight while we send up our prayers on the Santa Fe Trail. A colossal bastard frog squats in stone. Once he squawked, then he was frozen and shut up forever. Into the night, the overland passenger train. Slabs of sandstone red sink to the sunset red. Blankets of night cover him up. Night ring gods, night luck gods are looking on. March on, processions. Tie your hat to the saddle and ride, O oh rider. Let your ponies drag their navels in the sand. Go hungry. Leave your bones in the desert sand. When the desert takes you, the wind is clean. The wind says so on a noisy night. The finger bone of a man lay next to the handle of a frying pan and the foot bone of a horse. Clean, we are clean, the winds whimper on a noisy night. Into the night, the overland passenger train, and the engineer with an eye for signal lights, and the porters making up berths for passengers, and the boys in the diner locking the icebox and six men with cigars in the buffet car mention civilization, history, God. Into the blanket of night goes the overland train. Into the black of the night the processions march. The ghost of a pony goes by, a hat tied to the saddle, the wagon tongue of a prairie schooner, and the handle of a 49er's pickaxe. Do a shiver dance in the desert dust, in the coyote gray of the alkali dust, and six men with cigars in the buffet car mention, civilization, history, God. Sleep, O oh wonderful hungry people. Take a shut-eye, take a long old snooze, and be good to yourselves. Into the night, the overland passenger train, and the sleepers cleared for a morning sun in the Grand Canyon of Arizona. Two. A blue jay blue and a gray mouse gray ran up the canyon walls. A rider came to the rim of a slash in a gap of desert dirt. A long-legged, long-headed rider on a blunt and a blurry jackass. Riding and asking, how come? How come? And the long-legged, long-headed rider said, between two ears of a blurry jackass, I see ten miles of auburn, gold, and purple. I see doors open over door sills, and always another door and a door sill. Cheat my eyes, fill me with the float of your dreams, you auburn, gold, and purple. Cheat me, blow me off my pins onto footless floors. Let me put footsteps in an air path. Cheat me with footprints on auburn, gold, purple, out to the last violet shimmer of the float of the dream, and I will come straddling a jackass, singing a song and letting out hallelujahs to the door sill of the last footprint. And the man took a stub lead pencil and made a long memo in shorthand on the two blurry jackass ears. God sits with long whiskers in the sky. I said it when I was a boy. I said it because long-whiskered men put it in my head to say it. They lied about you, God. They lied. The other side of the five doors and door stills put in my house. How many hinges, panels, doorknobs? How many locks and lintels? put on the doors and door sills, winding and wild between the first and the last door sill of all. Out of the footprints on ten miles of auburn, gold, and purple, 
an old song comes. These bones shall rise again. Yes, children, these bones shall rise. Yonder past my five doors, or fifty million doors, maybe. Stars with knobs and locks and lintels. Stars with riders of rockets. Stars with swimmers of fire. Cheat my eyes and I come again, straddling a jackass, singing a song, letting out hallelujahs. If God is a proud and a cunning bricklayer, or if God is a king in a white gold heaven, or if God is a boss and a watchman always watching, I come riding the old ride of the humiliation, straddling a jackass, singing a song, letting out hallelujahs. Before a ten-mile float of auburn, gold, and purple, Footprints on a sunset air path haze, I ask, how can I taste with my tongue a tongueless god? How can I touch with my fingers a fingerless god? How can I hear with my ears an earless god? Or smell of a god gone noseless long ago? Or look on a god who never needs eyes for looking. My head is under your foot, God. My head is a pan of alkali dust, your foot kicked loose, your foot of air with its steps on the sunset air path haze. A blue jay blue and a gray mouse gray ran up the canyon walls. Sitting at the rim of the big gap at the high lash on the frozen storm line, I ask why I go on five crutches, tongues, ears, nostrils, all cripples, eyes and nose, both cripples. I ask why these five cripples limp and squint and gag with me, why they say with the oldest frozen faces, man is a poor stick and a sad squirt. If he is poor, he can't dress up. If he dresses up, he don't know any place to go. Away and away on some green moon, a blind blue horse eats white grass. And the blind blue horse knows more than I do, because he saw more than I have seen, and remembered it after he went blind. And away and away on some other green moon is a sea-kept child, who lacks a nose I got and fingers like mine, and all I have. And yet the sea-kept child knows more than I do, and sings secrets alien to me as light to a nosing mole underground. I understand this child is a yellow-bellied catfish in China, understands peach pickers at sunrise in September in a Michigan orchard. The power and lift of the sea and the flame of the old earth fires under, I sift their meanings of sand in my fingers. I send out five sleepwalkers to find out who I am, my name and number, where I came from, and where I am going. They go out, look, listen, wonder, and shoot a fire-white rocket across the night sky. The shot and the flare of the rocket dies to a whisper, and the night is the same as it always was. They come back, my five sleepwalkers. They have an answer for me, they say. They tell me, Wait. The password all of them heard when the fire-white rocket shot across the sky and died to a whisper. The password is, wait. I sit with five binoculars, amplifiers, spectroscopes. I sit looking through five windows, listening, tasting, smelling, touching. I sit counting five million smoke fogs. Repeaters, repeaters, come back to my window sills. Summer pigeons coming to coo and coo and clean their tail feathers and look wise at me. Summer pigeons coming with broken wings to die, with pain in their eyes on my window sills. I walk the high lash of the frozen storm line. I sit down with my feet in a ten mile gravel pit. Here I ask why I am a bag of sea water fastened to a frame of bones put walking on land. 
Here I look at crawlers, crimson, spiders spotted with purple spots on their heads, flinging silver nets, two, four, six, against the sun. Here I look two miles down to the ditch of the sea and pick a winding ribbon, a river eater, a water grinder. It is a runner sent to run by a stopwatch. It is a wrecker on a rush job. A blue jay blue and a gray mouse gray ran up the canyon walls. Battering rams, blind mules, mounted policemen, trucks hauling caverns of granite, elephants grappling gorillas in a death strangle, cathedrals, arenas, platforms, somersaults of telescoped railroad train wrecks, exhausted eggheads, piles of skulls, mountains of empty sockets, mummies of kings and mobs, memories of work gangs and wrecking crews, sobs of wind and water storms, all frozen and held on paths leading on to spirals of new zigzags. An armchair for a one-eyed giant, two pine trees grow in the left arm of the chair. A blue jay comes, sits, goes, comes again. A blue jay shoots and twitters. Out and across, tumbled skyscrapers and wrecked battleships, walls of crucifixions and wedding breakfasts. Ruin, ruin, a brute gnashed, dug, kept on, kept on and quit, and this is it. Falling away, the brute is working, sheets of white veils cross a woman's face, an eye socket glooms and wonders. The brute hangs his head and drags on to the job. The mother of mist and light and air murmurs, Wait. The weavers of light weave best in red, better in blue. The weavers of shadows weave at sunset. The young black-eyed women run, run, run to the night star homes. The old women sit weaving for the night rain gods, the night luck gods. Eighteen old giants throw a red gold shadow ball. They pass it along. Hands go up and stop it. They bat up flies in practice. They begin the game. They knock it for home runs and two baggers. The pitcher puts it across, in and out, and in an in-shoot drop. The devil is the umpire. God is the umpire. The game is called on account of darkness. A blue jay blue and a gray mouse gray ran up the canyon walls. Three. Good night. It is scribbled on the panels of the cold gray open desert. Good night. On the big sky blanket over the Santa Fe Trail, it is woven in the oldest Indian blanket songs. Buffers of land, breakers of sea, say it and say it over and over. Good night, good night. Tie your hat to the saddle and ride, 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 O oh rider. Lay your rails and wires and ride, 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 O oh rider. The worn, tired stars say, You shall die early and die dirty. The clean, cold stars say, You shall die late and die clean. The runaway stars say, You shall never die at all. Never at all. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of Slabs of the Sunburnt West by Carl Sandburg.